May 15, 1945. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Tree, many, many thanks for your welcome letter, which I received the other week. I see you are all in the best of health. Your letter took a few days longer to catch up with me as I'm bunking down in a hotel on the North Sea coast. Some of the chaps are here with me, including my good pal Duke, and they send their kindest regards to you and all our friends at the club. You will know by now that the Germans surrendered to us on May 5th. As we rode in our vehicles through the streets, we saw Dutch tricolor hanging from town windows and young children waving from rooftops and balconies. People were singing, not the Dutch national anthem, but Oh Canada. It was such an amazing sight. Oh Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all thy sons command. With glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true north strong and free. From far and wide, O oh Canada, we stand on guard for thee. <laughs> People kept stopping us to say thank you, and women were offering us tulips. The country has been occupied for five years, so their joy of being liberated is not at all surprising. Well, anyway, the war is over, thank God. And I know we want a speedy return to Canada without delay. I think we've earned it. Is there any celebration at the club? Stacks of free beer? <laughs> Me and Zook went out looking for a beer store. Without any luck. While we were driving around, a Dutch teenager arrived by bicycle and asked for gas for his car. We had to turn him down due to the ban on using military fuel for civilian purpose. Then the teenager explained that his dad made beer. <laughs> that was good enough for Duke and me. <laughs> we swapped gas for beer. I must finish now. My kindest regards, yours sincerely, Scotty.